Well, hey there, guys, and welcome to another episode of What's Happening in China. Now, this is just a very quick episode. You can see I'm I'm not out on the street. I'm sitting inside, uh, drinking a coffee. And uh, the reason I'm making this episode is because there has been uh, well almost a flood of messages through to me asking me about the explosion up in Tianjin, asking if I'm okay and all of that. So I wanted to make this video to. Just explain the situation from the way I see it here in China, and also just to uh, assure everybody that everything,、uh, at least on my side, is fine. So,、uh, first of all,、uh, let's quickly get down, pretty much, straight to to the sort of tragic news that's been going on as of late. In fact, yesterday was、uh, full of bad news for some or other reason.、Mm. The、uh, big explosion thing. As far as everybody knows, it was a, a logistics company that stores dangerous chemicals and explosives, etc., in a warehouse,、um, you know, on the docks there, and、uh, it just exploded. So there's no current、uh, reason for the explosion. It's probably down, as I would think, it's probably down to negligence in storage methods.、Um, that's just my take on it. But you know, it could be anything. It could be sabotage. It could be. You know, it's it's stupid to speculate. We'll just wait and see what it really is at the end of the day. But what happened was there was this massive explosion, two two big explosions, which pretty much destroyed an entire area at the container port. Destroyed thousands of brand new、uh, VW cars that were all parked there, ready to be shipped out.、Um, you know, here's a picture, so you can see. And、uh, you know, killed a bunch of people.、Uh, the death toll. It's not that high at the moment. It's about fifty or so,、um, but you know there there are hundreds.、Uh, you know probably probably closer to、uh, well a thousand odd thousand plus people that are injured. You know burn victims and、uh, you know hurt from the shattering glass and all that. So that's what happened. But now listen,、um, China's a massive place.、Uh, here's a map of China.、Uh, you can see on the map I've highlighted down south where I live next to Hong Kong. And all the way up north, where Tianjin is, it's it may as well be a different country almost. That's how far away it is. It's thousands and thousands of kilometers away,、um, and、uh, so of course there were no no effects felt down here, except for the fact that I woke up、uh, yesterday morning with you know lots and lots of videos and pictures on all the groups that I'm part of in WeChat and so on and Weibo,、uh, pictures of these explosions and. And videos, because people were just posting them to to social media, so it's a big hot topic at the moment, and of course, it's、uh, everywhere on the social media here. So、um, that's as far as the explosion is concerned. It's tragic. It doesn't matter how it occurred and who's at fault, and you know all that nonsense. It just sucks that something like that would happen, and、uh, I really hope that everybody recovers、uh, as soon as possible and they get that situation under control. Okay. So this is not just a video about an explosion. Let's talk about what else is happening in China at the moment. So let's go back to our usual format. Sorry, I'm not on the street today, but like I said, I'm doing this in a bit of a rush in between work. I will also be、um, uploading a, a village call later,、uh, hopefully today or tomorrow, which is a little more lighthearted and uh, uh, something I think you guys will enjoy. Where I go into the electronics market and bargain,、uh, you know, teach you all how to bargain here. Anyway,、um, on the streets, it's raining a lot these days. We had that typhoon. If you haven't seen, I put a video up,、uh, a short little time lapse that I took of the typhoon as it rolled through Shenzhen. It wasn't that big over here. It was much bigger further、uh, north, sort of northeast coast, and also Taiwan. It hit pretty hard.、Um, so yeah, lots of rain, lots of people walking around with umbrellas, etc. That's what's happening on the street.、Uh, in the news, except for the explosion. Elevators, sorry, not elevators. Escalators are actually big in the news lately.、Um, probably about two, two and a half, three weeks ago, two weeks ago, I guess. Actually, less. Sorry, I'm lying. About a week ago or so,、um, there was a faulty escalator. Actually, at the top of the escalator, they have plates, right, for service, which you normally, you know, you you see the guys when they work on an escalator, they take the plates off and they climb in there and they work on it. Well, for some reason, either maintenance. Stuff or maybe they, the screws just came out, but those plates were loose, and、uh, a woman was coming up the、uh, escalator with with her、uh, young child, and some staff who had noticed that it was、uh, loose 
were like shouting it to her, be careful, there's a problem here, there's a problem. So she picked her child up and walked over the plates, but the added weight caused her to fall in to the, the cavity. She, the staff took her child away, luckily. But she got, you know, ground up in the mechanism, which is pretty brutal and, uh, you know, obviously died from that. And uh, since then, people have been very skeptical and uh, superstitious about elevate, uh, sorry, escalators, which is very understandable. So, you know, people have been taking measures to avoid, um, you know, some certain brands of escalators. In fact, uh, the, the same brand of escalator, I can't remember what it is, but uh, the government basically said they all have to stop operation. If you've got that brand of escalator, you're not allowed to use it anymore until it's checked and it's up to safety scratch and all that nonsense. So escalators and uh, explosions have been <laughs> in the news lately. Uh, yesterday there was also uh, a pretty tragic stabbing in Beijing. Uh, you hear about it occasionally, knife attacks in China, uh, it happens. But, um, you know, when you come from a place like I do, which is uh, South Africa, you know, which, you know, every day there, you know, I think it's at the moment something like 53 murders a day in South Africa, you know, it's like... The occasional stabbing is is really not a bad thing, uh, not shocking, I should say, to a person like me. But not, I'm not trying to condone it or say that it's good because it's absolutely abhorrent. Uh, abhorrent it's terrible, but um, that's something that happened yesterday as well, which is quite um, disturbing. Is uh, a foreigner and his Chinese wife were attacked with a sword, uh, a guy with like a, a meter long sword in Beijing, right outside a very famous shopping. Um, you know, in a famous shopping area and right outside, um, uh, you know, the Uniqlo over there. And uh, the reports are a bit sketchy. In the beginning, people were saying the woman died and then they said, no, she didn't die. Then they say they died. But from what I can see on the social media anyway, she did die, unfortunately, and the husband was injured and the police arrived and arrested the guy um, who's obviously mentally ill. Um, but it's led to some speculation among some of the foreigners here that, you know, there's a lot of anti-foreign foreigner sentiment going on. But I don't see that at all. I just like to basically put anyone's sort of worries at ease here. It's obviously just some nutcase going off on his own little agenda because, you know, <clears throat> I'm, I interact with Chinese people every day. That's my job, right? My clients are Chinese. I go out on the street. And uh, I can tell you for a fact that there is no overwhelming anti-foreign se foreigner sentiment at the moment. Things are exactly the same as they were a week ago, a month ago, a year ago. Um, and so if you are a foreigner in China, I wouldn't worry. You know, it's not something to go around saying, oh, I better watch out. You know, there's some crazy people out there who want to stab me. So please rest at ease and don't worry about that. Um, <clears throat> uh, and, you know, just unfortunate that these Terrible events kind of coincided on the same day, as usual, when it rains it pours, we say. Mm. Okay, so anyway, enough with all the doom and gloom, all right, because other than that, um, everything's actually going pretty well. Um, I'm, on a personal note anyway, uh, I got my visa. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I actually have a, a little village crawl about that. You can go take a look. So I'm over the moon, and uh, that means that I'm here in China for another year, legitimately, as usual, on a work visa. Um, and hopefully it'll continue, but I always worry because, like I said, the rules always seem to change for visa requirements or how you apply for the visa. But everything went smoothly. Um, what else is up and coming? Well, as usual, things are still going well on the Churchill side. Seamilk and I did a little funny, interesting... Um, Thing. The other night after a day at Churchill we sat down and played arcade games at his house and we sort of filmed a little Let's Play uh, video. So if you are interested in that, please go and uh, take a look. What else? Oh yes, by the way, if you are interested in that explosion, I did post a link to one of the videos on my Facebook page. You can go and take a look. Uh, Facebook page is in the description below and uh, you can go and watch that if that's uh, something you'd like to see. Um, anything else? Well, that's about it for now, really. Um, it just seems fairly overwhelming, the bad news here, but I, I just wanted to rest assure all of you guys, either living in China or abroad, that 
from what I can see, at least down south in China here, where I live in, a, in, a, you know, in this area, and all the people that I've been talking to, and I have a very sort of broad spectrum of uh, clients, you know, they all come from different parts of China is what I'm trying to say. Um, there, there's nothing to be concerned about. There's just a, an overwhelming sort of, uh, how could I say, feeling of uh, compassion and, uh, what's the word? People are just generally sad about the tragedy in Tianjin and uh, otherwise carrying on with their daily lives. So anyway, um, stick around. Soon I'll have another, like I said, more lighthearted video coming up. I did a very long, a very long village call, like a 30 minute one. So I decided a lot of you guys probably don't want to see the whole thing. So I've decided to uh, basically post the interesting bit, which is the um, bargaining that I did. I'm going to put that as a separate little video and then I'll put the full 30 minute village crawl for people to watch if you want to see me going through the streets and uh, interacting with the locals and stuff. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, until next time, stay awesome and uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Cheers.